We walked to our apartment and uh, it was a long, not very long, but it was uh, a three to four hours bus ride and from, <laughs> from Lagos and it was beautiful, it was fun and now we're going inside our room which we are unable to open for some reason. Uh, finally managed to open the room thanks to Dina. Dona is going to sleep in this room. It's a bathroom. And Dina and me will sleep here. Yes. Roomies. Roomies. Guys, so we have come out for lunch now. And we are in Taberna, Miami. And we're gonna have some food and then we're gonna check out more of Spain, Sevilla. And today is more of a leisure day. So yeah, let's go. again all irritated looking for the change guys we're out for breakfast now and it's day two in Sevilla and we had a fun time uh, you know just ordering the food right Dina <laughs> that's how people were showing us because we don't understand I mean they can't speak English and we don't understand Spanish but you need to check out our food it looks delicious
guys have done a lot of touring for the day and uh, there are two things that I'd like to say if you plan on to come to Spain or Portugal. Firstly that uh, the weather in Spain at this time at least around October I don't know about other months but this is like the most you know busiest most touristy season to come yet it is uh, you know hot you know the sunny hot like there's a lot of sun and you know it makes you feel dehydrated and tired and everything so you know we went back to our hotel had food and you know and then we rested for some time and then we came back again in the evening and yes around four or five if you get out uh, of your place and you know see around the places i think it's much better much more comfortable and at night it's safe also and it gets really prettier with the lights and everything so yes preferably you should you know check out more of the places at night because daytime it's gonna make you feel very it's hot at night as well but then at least it's not like sunny you know so you don't feel sick or anything and the second thing that i was about to say is god yeah so portugal has a much better weather in terms of that so you can you know see check out the places for the entire day at night it gets really chilly because it's windy but uh, here it gets really beautiful at night you know to check out the places and secondly i was about to say that you know um I was about to say secondly, yeah, I can finally recall. Second thing is that you know, if you go on to see, uh, like, if you don't take any tours and packages in advance, uh, like we have in this time, and we checked out the places on our own, it was quite fun. We did the hop on, hop off, and then you know, we decided which sp uh, places specifically that we wanted to go, and we booked the tickets. And in Portugal, it was fine. We did that, like you know on the spot and everything but here in Spain there's a lot of you know maybe because it's the peak season so there's a lot of line and everything so it's preferable that you get your tickets booked in advance online or something because otherwise if you take the packages here it's expensive and um, and if you just when you don't want to take the casual usual lines then it's like three hours or something so yeah I think that's what we're gonna do for tomorrow as well when we go to Cordoba and for Barcelona as well we're gonna do the same thing and yeah that's pretty much it